Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and today I am really excited to have food everywhere. The best and worst thing about the summertime is food is all over every countertop. It's the best and it's slightly overwhelming so sometimes it can be the worst but I'm really grateful to have harvested a lot of food yesterday. I put up a lot of food yesterday and then this morning I went out and harvested other things. I'm going to show you all of that now, what I did yesterday, what I'm doing now. And at the end of the day, I'll show you what I get done. So it's going to be great, and I'm going to show you that now. First things first, yesterday I canned all of this blueberry jam. This is my no pectin jam. I've made a couple batches of this this year, and it's really solid. And we have opened up a jar. We love this. This is probably the last of the blueberry jam that I'm going to be making this year. Um, but this has worked out really well just with the berries and sugar. And you can see how well it's held up. But if you're on Facebook with me at Freedom Makers, you've already seen this. So, um, along with the mess that I made. Anyway, um, these are black eyed peas. I have five quarts here. It was a five gallon bucket crammed full of black eyed peas. We shelled these this yesterday morning. Canned those. So all of this, I've already taken the rings off. Washed these jars. I just have to label these and put them up. Yesterday, I also harvested a five gallon bucket of peppers. These are just chopped peppers. This is bell peppers and banana peppers. I have them kind of all mixed up in this bowl here. I have some freezer bags labeled. I'm going to get these put in the freezer ASAP. This morning I harvested green beans. These are all green beans and then these are the rattlesnake beans. I'm going to be canning these shortly. Um, as you can see I've already got them snapped. I just have to wash everything up. I want to keep them separate this first time at least because I want to taste the rattlesnake beans by themselves. I've never eaten these. I've never grown these. It is um, kind of an experiment for me, but they seem to be growing much better than my pitiful little green beans. Green beans are a staple at our house, and so if we can use those instead next year, um, and if we like them as well as I'm hoping we do, then we may not grow our blue lakes anymore. We may just go to rattlesnake beans, so we will see how that goes. This morning I also got um, a few more peppers that I noticed that I missed, and then some tomatoes. Um, my Romas are having some blossom rot issues. But it's only my aromas. Everything has been treated the same. Um, I've fertilized them exactly the same, but that is the only variety that seems to have the um, ends starting to rot is the aromas. These are all of the jalapenos we've gotten so far, and they're kind of little, so I'm surprised at those. I'm hoping they pick up. Next to that is some eggplant. These are all crazy. They were supposed to be black beauties, which would be a long, um, more thin eggplant. This one is gorgeous. I'm probably going to cut this one up into fries one day this week. These circle ones I may use um, for an eggplant parmesan later. I'm really not sure. But even the color is different. And these plants were right beside each other, like, but they look totally different. I also don't know why these are spherical instead of oblong. Um, unless they were just incorrectly labeled. So I'm not sure if you grow eggplant and you know the answer to that question feel free to let me know in the comment section now i'm putting up my jars these are all the black eyed peas i've got some holes here in my pantry down here is where i put the blueberry jam next to yesterday's case and then i still have an extra one here so i think i'm going to stick it up here next to my greens and those blueberries i've been canning i'm so excited to have so much food happening it's very very exciting while I'm here in my food storage pantry, I'm also going to shoot a video that you guys can see tomorrow on canning. So, so many people have been contacting me about issues with canning, fear in canning. So, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. And while I'm in here, I'm going to record that. Now, I've got all my peppers bagged up. I'm super excited to have four more quarts of chopped peppers. I can use these all winter long. Soups, stews, casseroles, all kinds of stuff. These bad boys are going in the freezer. Now, I'm stacking my peppers up on top of a casserole I have here in the freezer and these guys are all those greens that I'd been bagging up the ones that I didn't can or didn't have time to can went in freezer bags so these are just quarts of turnip greens that I'm going to be able to use at will whenever I want it's a huge shelf of them I'm really excited about that my freezer's a mess y'all I'm gonna have to come out here and organize this morning I also dehydrated rosemary this is what I have left to um, take off of the stems here I'm going to put this in my coffee grinder in a little while and grind that down to a powder and I can use it in all kinds of things. Um, I love this rosemary. It smells amazing in my kitchen. I dehydrated this in my sun oven outside. It only took about an hour. While I have my sun oven out already, I'm going to go ahead and make some pumpkin bars. I have my little sunshine helper now and she is 
mixing away. We we're making pumpkin bars instead of sweet potato bars using a video from Crazy Days where I actually was taught how to make um, sweet potato bars. So we we're just subbing in some pumpkin because that's what I have on hand right now. And Sunshine is going to mix these up for me. Alright y'all, we're about to get our pumpkin bars out of the sun oven, but before we do, I thought I'd show you um, a far away shot of the corn. I just planted with sunshine the Cherokee Tan Pumpkins. There are some here, 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 and then at the end there and there. Um, I have my sprinkler going down there right now, um, and I'm going to move that in like 15 minute increments so that that squash gets a good soak and um, the beans needed some water anyway. The corn's doing fine, but the beans and the squash all kind of need some water. Um, so I've got that going. From the house here, we can also see the tomatoes when I zoom in, they're doing pretty good. I see some red little dots in here, so I'm gonna have to get out there in the morning and pick again, that's gonna be wonderful. All right, y'all, as you can see, there's plenty of shade over here, so this has not been in the actual sun in quite some time. It is still really condensated, so all the moisture stayed in there. I don't know how well you can see in through there, but it's looking like it's at about 200 degrees still, so that's still pretty good considering it's not been in the sun for several hours. All right, y'all, time to open this up. It's the moment of truth. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh yeah, it looks a little different than if we had used sweet potatoes. This is pumpkin. So it does look a little different than we're used to, but it's gonna be amazing. It smells really, really good. I can't wait to get this inside. What do you think? I think the crust is the bestest, and mm -hmm. the bottom is the bestest than the crust. Wow, so you like the whole thing then? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well y'all, this is what we ended up with. It looks like it's um, crispy but it's not. This is very much like a bar. It's very um, smushy. It's very gooey kind of. Um, but it's wonderful. It has a really good flavor and we're very happy with it. I still have not gotten to the rest of the rosemary. We decided to go outside and play in the kiddie pool and then water our plants from the water in the kiddie pool. So that was way funner than any of this could have been. Um, but we did get um, three quarts and then the rattlesnake beans are in this one. They um, look a little bit different. We are going to crack this open probably later in the week and try it. They all have sealed So that's wonderful and we're excited to add a little to our pantry Well y'all I've been asked to do a day in the life video for a while now And so this is as close as I could absolutely get there were so many things that were left out Of course, you know, there are the menial tasks like the laundry I'm sure you can hear in the background going um, and things like that, but generally this is my life it's all about the food and the kids so it's been a wonderful day here at Freedom Makers. I appreciate each of you for stopping by, and I'll catch you in the next video.